Okay, we have completed the FIFO method in problem 72A. It's time to move on to LIFO. So, very, very similar to FIFO, only this time when we sell our inventory, we don't take the oldest, we take the newest, last in, first out. So let's do it. Uh, May the 1st. We didn't make a purchase, we didn't make a sale, but we did have a beginning inventory balance. 20 units at 3 bucks a piece gives us $60 in beginning inventory. On May the 5th, uh, we make a purchase. 5 units, $3.25 each. 5 times 3.25. is sixteen dollars and twenty five cents we didn't make any sales today so i bring down my previous inventory balance twenty times three is sixty and i add to it my new purchase five at three twenty five is sixteen and a quarter moving on to may the thirteenth i make a sale so when I make a sale, I'm worried about the cost of goods sold, not that I had $220 in revenue, which of course we can all see 22 times 10 is $220 in revenue. I'm worried about not my revenue, but my cost of goods sold. So I have to say, which of these 22 units sold? And with LIFO, it's the newest or the most recently purchased stuff. So five sold, all of those sold, all those ones, and 17 of those gets me up to 22. So I sold five at 325 and I sold 17 at three bucks. Five times 325 and 17 times three. What does that leave me with? It leaves me with two three dollar units. Or three three dollar <laughs> units, pardon me. Three left over. Three times three is nine. Okay, so that's really the key item. Now we make a couple more purchases. May 20th, we buy uh, seven, that costs 355, equals that times that, 2485. Um, there's no cost of goods sold because we didn't sell any goods. So we had three at three for nine bucks, now we're adding to it seven at 355 for 2485. And that brings us to May 24th. We buy five more. May 24th, we buy five at $3.70. Five times 3.70 is 18.50. I had three, I didn't sell them, so I still got them. I had seven at 3.55 for 24.85. Again, I didn't sell them, I still got them. And now I'm adding to it five at 370 for 1850. So that's May the 24th. Now on May 31st, my mother's birthday, what happens? We sell 13, we gotta say which 13 did we sell? We sold the most recently purchased 13. So we sold the, uh, well, let's see what we, just looking from bottom to top now. We must have sold all five of those. We must have sold all seven of those. That gets us up to 12. And we must have sold one of those to get us to 13. So in order, I sold five for 370. That's $18.50. I sold seven at 355. Seven times 355. 2485. And I sold one at three bucks, and I know one times three is three, leaving me two at three dollars for six dollars. Uh, put an underline under here, and we are done that part of the question. We have prepared our inventory record. Now let's compute sales cogs and gross profit. Our sales revenue is just, we look on the sale date and we figure out how much we sold stuff for. So 22 times 10 is 220, five times 370. Oh wait, that's a purchase. 13 times 10 is 130. So 220 plus 130, $350. And this is the same across each method. So our sales rev is 350. Our COGS, cost of goods sold, is the sum of the COGS column here. So add that, plus that, plus that, plus that, plus that. I know there's quicker ways to do it in Excel just want to show you what I'd be doing in my calculator. 
Sales minus COGS is gross profit. 350 minus 113 is 236.40. So there we've answered B. On to C. Journal entries should be very straightforward here. We are doing journal entries just for May 24th and 31st. We could be forced to do them all, but we're not here. So May 24th and May 31st. I know May 24th was a purchase, so when I'm buying inventory, debit inventory, credit, AP. And I know May 31st was a sale, so I know there's two parts to it, debit AR or cash. It's unclear here. Credit sales rev, debit cogs, credit inventory. And now let's figure out our amounts. On May 24th, how much inventory did I buy? Well, I bought $18.50 worth of inventory. Just right here, I bought $18.50. So debit uh, inventory credit AP 1850. How much money did I take in on May 31st or how much did I earn on May 31st? Right there, I, I earned $130. And uh, that's my sales revenue. What were my COGS on May 31st? Well, it's the total of this section. So it's uh, 1850 plus 2485 plus 3. 46. 35 is my debit to COGS credit to inventory. And at that point, I've done it. I've completed my LIFO section of the problem. In our next video, we'll tackle weighted average. Stay tuned.